attack ads, rallies, and campaign speeches. They're all tools used by big-time politicians, but could you actually need them in the office? According to a new survey, at least 56% of professionals think being involved in office politics is a necessary evil when it comes to your career. Dana Langham's here from Robert Half International to tell us about navigating the murky waters of office politics. Dana, it's good to see you again. Good to see you. Yes, ma'am. My pleasure. Thank you. I always enjoy having a lovely lady up here with me. <laughs> uh, let's talk a little bit about office politics. Now, there's, there's, there's good politics and there's bad politics. Can you differentiate between those two for me? Absolutely. Good politics is treating everyone the same, all the way from your regional VPs to your front desk receptionists. Um, bad politics is gossiping and mm. being the cancer in the office. Mm, there you go, the cancer in the office. Mm -hmm. Let's elaborate on that a little bit. What does the cancerous person tend to do? What sort of characteristics do they exhibit and what activities do they spend their time on? Gossiping, talking bad about coworkers. Um, talking negatively about their employer while they're outside of the workplace. Mm -hmm. Don't say anything behind your co coworkers or bosses back that you wouldn't say to them directly. Wow. And that is a very difficult standard for a lot of people to live up to. Because I, I would never do any of those things. <laughs> of course not. But, but, it, but there's temptation there. Absolutely. It, you go out with uh, friends you work with and you want to blow off steam and maybe you had a bad day at work and you know, Maybe you don't like your boss so much that day, so, you know, the natural instinct is, is to blow off some steam and say some things, but is, that's a bad idea. That is a bad idea. I, everyone can vent, everyone can have bad days, mm -hmm. but it's how politically correct you do it. Ah. Uh, more constructive criticism, Understood. not a personal bash fest about your boss. There you go. So keep it professional. Absolutely. And, and, and even if you have to blow off the steam, uh, you, you don't want to do it in such a way to where you're being rude or, or nasty or just mean-spirited and, and making it personal, correct? Right, because that's just one bad day. You'll have plenty of good ones. You don't want what you said on a bad day to come back and haunt you and affect you later on down the, your professional path. All right, there you go. Uh, let's not dwell on the negative, though. Let's talk about the positive things that you could do. You mentioned treating everyone at work uh, the same. That's got to be easier said than done. It is. You know... I think it's really important to, um, you know, share credit. If your boss comes and approaches you and says thank you for something that you did, making sure that you acknowledge your team as well, not just taking it all on your shoulders. Um, I do not function without my administrative assistant and without uh, a couple of my team members. So without giving them credit as well, I would not function and be as good as I am. So it's important to make sure that you share the team effort and acknowledge people. Now, whenever you have trouble, and almost everyone has a person at work that they just don't get along with, how do you handle that person in, in, in a way that is good for your political image at work? Right. Um, I, I always just stay true to who you are even outside of work. Mm -hmm. um, and it's the old-fashioned saying, if you have nothing nice to say, say nothing at all. You just have to work together for eight hours, uh, be professional, engage on professional matters when you have to. No one's asking you to go to lunch, but just treat everyone with kindness and get the job done is the most important. The work's the, the most important thing. Yes. So sabotage and revenge and things like that definitely out? We'll get you fired. <sighs> Dag <Dag-dabbit. laughs> All right. <laughs> we're kidding. We're kidding. We're kidding. Dana, we're out of time, but thanks so much for being with us. Thanks, today. Danny. We'll see you again soon, I'm Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. You can find out more about Robert Half International online at rhi.com.